back to my channel. Yes, I made another video. <laughs> I'm just so grateful that I actually did it and not just said it and didn't do nothing about it. So anyways, today's video is going to be about your essential bag, what you should have inside there in case you need it. Uh, and I know like uh, most of the people that I know like using small bags, that's okay. I love myself. A big bag. So big like this, or it can be small like this. So I'm going to tell you the tricks on how to get a lot of things as well into a small bag like this. So let's get started. First things first, in my essential bag, I have another bag inside my bag. Ta-da! And inside my bag is where I have everything else that I need. And inside my bag, I have another bag. I'm not joking. <laughs> bag and you must be thinking that's taking up a lot of space no it's just separating the things that I need that are most important from the other things that are not so important by this I mean in terms of hygiene so the things that are most important to me I don't want them to get any germs or anything like that so I keep them in this bag and I will be taking out everything to show you exactly what I have inside here so this is like my toiletry, not really toiletry, this is like my hygiene type of bag and in here I have my other things like my makeup, um, etc. We'll get to there. So in here I have the following items. Don't laugh, don't find it weird, but I have a fresh clean pair of panties. Uh, this is because just in case Aunt Flo decides to visit you while you're outside and she had come like a day earlier or something or she's like a day later so you're kind of like confused on when she's going to come because we all know when our period is going to stop but sometimes your period does play on you and you know that's true so just always be ready in case you do stay just have an extra pair of panties that you can use because you don't want to be wearing the same one that's been messed on so always make sure to keep a pair of panties because that will come in handy when you need this is the most important item tissues to cry i'm just kidding most of the times when i go to the toilets here like some of them don't have toilet paper so by having your own tissues you save yourself a lot of trouble because there's nothing good as just having to shake yourself and then you have to get home and then you have to shower because that smell begins to just yeah it's just overwhelming so just have your own packet of tissues you can get this in like in a set and then just take one out and place them in all your handbags so if you have like seven handbags maybe buy two packets uh, if you have six handbags just buy one packet and each handbag you just throw in this so when you switch your handbag and you don't have this with you at least you got tissues i carry this mostly when i know my period is about to come like so i already have it ready i have a special spot for it so yeah <laughs> anyways let's get to it um wipes so i like to use my wipes almost every day so it's not just the thing about having my periods at all it's just like throughout the day if i feel like i need to freshen up a little bit because it does get hot and humid weather and everything you are bound to just start feeling uncomfortable and just to freshen up wipes really do go a long way so i would definitely say buy a pocket size one buy like three or something and just have them ready for you whenever you need them and ta -da 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 -da. these are panty liners i like using panty liners they just i don't know it just helps me a lot <laughs> i don't know but it's like it cools me down in a way that i cannot explain so panty liners are a must so i have two usually so sometimes in the morning when i feel like it's just been too much like being active really does do things to you you just get hot and sweaty everywhere so if i feel like i have to change it then i already have one to change and i don't have to worry about it so this is like the best i like to get the ones that are not scented uh so yeah you can go for the scented ones it's okay da -da 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 -da. a pad like i do not wear pads to start off with i do not wear pads but in case i ever needed to or in case i meet someone who does not wear tampons and they need a pad i will give them the pad but i just keep it here just in case somebody needs it or i have to or i like forgot to put the tampon in my bag or something but if it's not that i do not wear it but i will have it in my bag 
And of course, I will have my tampons in here. So like I already know, three is enough. You do not have to put the whole packet of tampons in your bag. You can just like take three of them. That's why it's important to have a different bag for it. So they can just be in a place where it's just hygiene things and that you've cleaned them out and they're all nice and clean. So I have like three. There's still one more in there. I'm not going to take it out because yeah, you already saw this one. <laughs> but anyways, last but not least, painkillers painkillers i know like when it's that time and then the pain starts to hit you and you do not have painkillers and you're just like going crazy and you try not to shout at anybody or be rude with anyone have yourself some painkillers it will save you all the pain <laughs> so painkillers is definitely a must if you don't take painkillers give me your life please but anyways i use my painkillers and i absolutely love taking them with me everywhere so this is what we have in our hygiene essential bag what i have in my other bag is basically your basics because we just be sanitizing all the time and then your hands just get so dry from sanitizing i have myself like a hand lotion that I'm, I after I sanitize i can just put my hand lotion when i get to a restaurant or when i sit down or whatever because like sanitizers do dry or just things so lotion is definitely good hand lotion i have here my vaseline this is for like my lips to moisturize and also to go hand in hand with this in case this is just not doing a great job if they extra dry then i will definitely put some vaseline onto them if not yeah this will go perfectly but anyways lips it is perfect literally and then next i have my sanitizer here that i hardly use because everywhere i go there's already sanitizer so in case i have to go to a place where they don't have sanitizer i have sanitizer here usually i'll have it clipped on my bag but because i haven't used it for so long i decided to put it in here because then if i have to look for it i know exactly where it is and next that's just a makeup thingy i don't even use this makeup it's just for the mirror this is literally the only brush I have in my bag. It's just to fix up. I do not take makeup pieces with me. I don't know why. I just like, I go out and that's it. And I'll just like touch up. Like I'll take the brush without nothing and I'll just touch up immediately. I have my perfume here. So throughout the day when I step out the car, I can just spray myself up and get ready to get out. And in here, obviously a scrunchie. Tie up my hair in case I need to. It's flying all over the place, especially when it's windy. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Floss. Just in case, you guys. Just in case you ate salad and now there's things in there. Last but not least, an empty bag. Sorry, there's like hair there. An empty bag. This is just because like if you go gonna be on your day or something and then you need to put whatever it is, the place where you are, there's just like no plastics to put your things into. You have your own plastic, you just put it inside your bag and not the stuff. The stuff, please find the trash and put it away. I'm saying the plastic, just fold it up and put it in your bag and whenever you need it, yeah, you use it. If you've been sneezing and coughing or whatever, you coughed into a tissue or whatever, you can just put it in your plastic bag and keep it aside and it will be fine. So if you're gonna be adapting into a small bag, so you know when your period is going to come and when it's not going to come. So you start to divide your things. So see what you're really going to need and what you're not going to need. What you're really going to need, you put inside. And what you don't need, do not put it inside. Put it aside and store it away. But remember to put it in your next bag. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like. And I will be back with so much more fun videos for you guys to see and enjoy. Till the next one, peace.